Good morning and once again welcome to the glorious island of Tenerife. I'm stood right at the side of CC Veronica's, the nightlife area, and at the back of it you've got the Sol Tenerife, which some of you will be familiar with if you visited the island before. Potentially you stopped here and paid a visit to this particular hotel if you have. Drop me a message down below. How did you find your stay there in this hotel? This morning, by the way, I'm going to try and go in there and show you around the hotel and see what is on offer. There are lots of people, by the way, even though it's- Hi guys. Well, what's your name? My name's Luca. Luca, has just come to say hi. You're on holiday here? Yeah. How long are you for, Luca? Going home on Tuesday. Going home on Tuesday. You enjoyed it? Yeah, it's been good. Been nice and hot. Very good. What's been your highlight of being here? It's these scooters. On the scooter, yeah, you've enjoyed it, have you? Yeah. Have you really? Very good. Um, you took in plenty of entertainment. You just yeah. said you've been to Veronica's, haven't you? Sugary from Jumping Jacks, that's where you want to be. Yeah, I recommend it. Yeah. But for the youngsters, yeah. have you been here before? I haven't, no, my first time. Can you come back again? Yeah. Good stuff, no problems whatsoever. I hope you enjoy the rest of your okay. holiday. Thank Luca? Thank you very much. Take care, enjoy the rest of your holiday, young man. See you later. <laughs> So good morning, once again, and welcome to the glorious island of Tenerife. I'm stood right next to CC Veronica's, the popular nightlife area, in particular with the youngsters. I've just met a young gentleman there, Luke, who's on holiday, goes home next week. He's had a fantastic time here. He's enjoyed the scooters as much as a menace they can be, but they're used correctly. Then again, I'm all in favour of them. At the back of CC Veronica's, you've got the Sol Tenerife. It is a popular hotel, and again, it's situated very much in the middle of everything, should we say. I'm gonna try and go in there this morning and show you around. That's enough of me speaking, I'm gonna turn the camera around. Andy Grundy, we're tuning in. Every post, a brand new spin. Watch it all. You've got a shop on the entrance here. Actually, it's quite a big area, this. So you've got, it looks like a bit of a, yeah, massage, massage area. A young lady there, what's giving you information if you want to go on different excursions. And then you've got this shop here at the side, which is very, very handy. You've got everything, you're fully stocked here with all your beverages, that's for sure, my word. <laughs> yeah, that's really, really handy. So you've got a shop attached to this. Again, I've never been down here before, but it's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? In relation to the location, I suppose, and particularly if you're young and you're coming for a little look around. It's quite grand as well in its presentation. You can see the building on the right hand side and the left hand side. Very, very big. And there is a security man on the entrance. I'm going to try and jet straight past him if I can. It might be uh, problematic, it might not be, but we'll, we shall see. But you can see that you've got your car parking spaces all around here as well. Obviously, it gives you the opportunity if you so wish to hire a vehicle. And you can come in here and obviously you can park. There's a space there. So, yeah, I, I'd imagine you probably will be able to get a car parking space. But again, I would imagine the vast majority of these are for staff only. Okay, so I have managed to get myself actually into it. And I've walked through reception. And to be fair, the staff on reception, they seemed fine. The security man was watching me recording on the outside and he was quite happy for me to come inside, which is good. I'm around the poolside now and obviously there's lots of people out. It is Sunday morning and it's around about, I've had to guess about 10 a.m. now from when I last looked at my watch, which is tucked away safely in my bag. You've got lifeguards around the pool, which is again, quite reassuring, well it is very reassuring if you've got young children in particular who are perhaps not that used to swimming yet or they're still, obviously trying to find the swimming ability. But again, it's quite a nice area. It's on two levels, this particular pool area, if you've never seen it before. And you can access it from the beach side. There's a gentleman there with his wife going through now onto the beach, it is on the seafront, and you can see it coming past. And as I say, every time I look at it, it always reminds me of the Solana of the programme, Benidorm. Another day in paradise. Hi. It is again right next to CC Veronica's and from what I've heard of people who have stayed here previously, they have said on this particular side of the hotel, Veronica's doesn't affect them in way of the noise. On the other side, I'm not overly sure again. If you've stayed here before, drop me a message down below and let me know, can you hear Veronica's from that side? Does it disturb you that much where you can't get to sleep? 
I'm not overly sure. Again, I've never stayed here before. Drop me a message down below. I'll turn the camera around. Obviously, there are people coming out and their children, so I'm not going to keep the camera on this particular area very long. But it just will, it will just basically give you an idea of what it's like. What would you say? This is the poolside, massive isn't it? This hotel, the poolside is quite nice in way of this size. You can just see it, it's on two levels. Entertainment area here. Muy buenos días, señoras y señores. You've got the poolside bar. Nice seating areas here. And this just gives you a size of the actual hotel. Again, there's lots of things that are dotted around. There's yoga mats here, so I'm taking it there'll be yoga going on during the day. This side here, quite clearly, is where the restaurant is. There's still people in there. And you've got nice wicker chairs. Marble table, which is quite nice. Again, this angle is quite nice for you to see it from. So you, you'll come out from your entrance, and then this just shows you what you're coming in, into, or out to, should I say. The vast majority of guests that stay here will come out here and enjoy everything that the hotel offers during the day. And there's lots of things going on here. Again, all added advantages if you're staying here. Double level pool, one on the lower, and one on the upper. Again, I do imagine that the pool will differ in way of its depth in order to accommodate for children. And of course, adults are like, I'm not overly sure about the top level in way of its depth. Again, if you stay there, drop me a message down below. Potentially, there could be some jacuzzis up there. I'm not going to go up there because from the looks of it, it is just a pool and a deck tour. It's just an added extra to the pool down below just to give it that bit more in way of size. But yeah, all your yoga mats and everything more tables and chairs over the far side lots of palm trees again which offers you a lot of shade that's the other building on this side which is huge isn't it it really really is big this i would go as far as saying it's one of the bigger complexes in way of hotels here on the island again i'm not overly sure what its occupancy is in way of the numbers that it can accommodate for i'll try and get some statistics together and put it on for you just to show you how many it can hold big big rooms all balconies um, yeah again I'll try and get some information together and show you what the rooms are like you've got a pool table here which is good again nice to have things like this pool tables you've got your massage chairs I could do with this now I've got a sore back a bit of a stiff back, should I say. But yeah, quite nice. And then again, you've got lots of your seating area here now, which is pretty cool. Lots of leather sofas. And this area is fantastic, isn't it? You can just see it now. It's not, it's not air conditioned. I would imagine it potentially is at certain times of the day. It is early and the sun's not necessarily up yet coming around it does look like it's set to be another 30 plus degrees temperature wise here on the island the intensity of the heat is not as intense as what it will be in another hour or two so the aircon might come on it is quite warm in here but it is a shaded area so it is very nice you can come and chill out here you've got little desks in front of your little kind of like workspaces if you like you put your laptops off on the or your kids can come and put their iPhones on or the tablets and they can watch whatever they want to watch. It's a chill out zone basically. And straight facing me is the restaurant. But yeah, it just, it really does give you a good idea. It's like, I've never been in it here before. So again, if you had stayed here, what was your visit here like? I'm really, really intrigued to see and hear what people's opinions were. So looking around the corner here, by the way, there's another area. Oh, this is very cool in here. Quite a nice breeze running through. 
this area. I'll turn the camera around and just show you. But again, it's a real nice area to come and chill out. It looks like an entertainment area for the evening. I'll turn the camera around and just show you because there's some entertainment areas as well, some games for the children what they can make use of and adults alike. I'll turn the camera around and just show it you. So there we go, this is another area. This obviously, again, the big sofas, all your tables and your chairs. Really, really nice area. And again, there's a slightly more breezier atmosphere in here than what there was in the other room. A little bit more intense heat. So the wind is wafting through. The air is wafting through. Yeah, I can feel it now. It's a lot cooler in here. You've got your games machines for the children. Again, all these things are really good to keep the children occupied at certain times throughout your visit to any hotel or your pool tables, lots of different amusement machines, really nice. And at the far side there now, you can see there's a bar area which will obviously come to live in the evening, I'm sure. Although I'm just reading there now, it says the all-inclusive area. Again, I do believe that this will be, again, drop me a message down below if you stayed here, where all the drinks are in the evening. So if you're here on an all-inclusive basis, you'll be able to come and access all of the beverages that are on offer uh, alcoholic and obviously your soft drinks which is pretty cool so i'm guessing and i've not really looked at this so if you have stayed here and a lot of hotels akin to this do offer all inclusive half board and bed and breakfast so i would imagine this will be no different you've got all of your uh, travel operator meeting points we can go and get uh, information from over the far side again i don't want to pan in too much you can just see it now there's a gentleman and a lady working on the reception checking people in checking people out and obviously giving them information in relation to the particular excursions for example or places that they need to go transportation wires and so forth as one would expect again it's really really nice it's vast it's a lot lot bigger than what i thought even though i knew from an outside in view that it would be very very big Got your lifts there that will obviously lead you up into your rooms again more seating area all the marble floor this is really really nice it's one of them isn't it where people can judge because obviously the situation or where it's situated i.e right next to you know quite a lively nightlife area although again i must add that in way of its liveliness it's more certainly not akin to some places that i've visited over the years and in particular when i was younger it's quite a small area really, CC for Honor, because as many again who have been to Ireland would confirm. It's not the same as, for example, an Iron Apple, the square, many of you will know what that's like. And uh, certain places like Malia and places like that. But again, it just gives you an idea what it's like, doesn't it? I think that's really, really important. And the restaurants over the far side. I'll try and go in that way and show you in a little bit. So this is your restaurant. Again, all of your, your wine, your beverages. You've got your soft drinks on the far side. All your hot drinks. This is a big area. And outside, a seating area as well. Which is really, really nice. All of your fresh bread. French baguettes. Really, really nice. Lots of different variety here. All of your condiments, all your eyes, ketchup, brain sauce, you name it, everything. Pate, cheeses, ham. Wow, full breakfast is going on here. Everything. Bacon, mushrooms, tomato, sausage, egg, beans, boiled eggs, everything's going on here. Absolutely everything. Just look at that, fantastic. Very, very good, really impressed. And the area was all the way around the back. Very, very impressive. Very impressive. It smells nice as well. Again, I don't want to keep, keep uh, the camera on people. Over this side, you've got your cereals. And everything's going on here now. All of your cereals, your pastries. Whoa, wow. Really, really good. Absolutely everything and all your fresh fruit. Very smiley members of staff, which is nice to see in the morning. Really, really good. Fantastic. Fantastic. So this just gives you a good look at what the actual restaurant's like. Very, very impressive. I'm actually quite taken aback of how cool it really is. Now, 
well laid out is again the outside area with all your drinks so your all-inclusive options as well really really impressed with this particular hotel looking at it again i've always looked from an outside in never been in and obviously looking out it looks very very nice really impressed okay so that's it from me at the Sol tenerife here once again on the glorious island of tenerife in las america so if you've enjoyed that little tour of this particular hotel and again if you do enjoy the content i'm putting together for you the viewer make sure you hit the like and subscribe button it really does mean an awful lot to me and it really helps the channel to grow and until next time my friends wherever you are in the world take care for now and have a great day much love from me to you from the glorious island of tenerife mm -hmm.